Hi guys, welcome to Creatively Challenged Anonymous. Um, I want to show you guys all the stuff that I bought. I didn't list brand names in my original Facebook post because that wasn't what it was about. It was about just standing up for myself and telling my inner committee to sit down and shut up. Um, in fact, I gave them pink slips. So uh, this is just so if you like what I got, you can go out and duplicate this yourself or, well, not really duplicate because it's your planner and comparison steals joy. Um, this is the Big Happy Planner by Creative 365. It's disc bound, which I'm a little nervous about because uh, if you know me at all, you know that I'm klutz and I'm concerned that if I drop this once, everything's going to go flying. But the discs have little hearts in the middle of them, which is cute. And I know for myself, if I use something, a product that's cute, I am far more likely to stick with it, which was a big part of why I chose this. Uh, inside the, the front cover is plastic coated, and it has a, a open page for who the planner belongs to. And that's one of my projects for today is to fill that in. Um, the first two pages are gears at a glance, and then it starts with July. I got the uh, year and a half planner because we're halfway through the year. That just made sense. Um, but I'm going to skip past July because Tuesday starts August. So this first uh, page for each month gives you the current last month, this month, and the next month, along with some place to, places to make notes. Uh, what's going on this month, some notes, August goals, any birthdays going on. Mine does not need to be shared with the world. Um, but I will say that Susie's is on the 14th. Any special events, don't forget, important dates and appointments. And I know some of you know what that date is and you are no better than to share it. I don't mind saying that I'm going to be 49. I just don't like the date shared. Um, the divider for each month is pretty and they're all different and I'll show you that in a moment. Uh, then we come up to the month on two pages and there is a, a quote there and then there's a place for notes and I've got some in there for some decisions that had to be made. Currently it's in pencil. Um, I'm going to change that to ink pretty soon when some things get a little more solidified. So here's my first uh, attempt at decorating my weekly spread that is across two pages. Um, it has the month and some lines for notes. <coughs> I thought uh, don't overthink, just let it go would be really important for me for this week because being the first one, goodness knows, I overthink things. For the most part, this is going to be for my personal life, but uh, just in playing around for this time, um, the end of the month because I work in accounting is always a challenge so work do all the things but first coffee I thought was really nice adulting is hard the best is yet to come because I know as I go through and plan more and more weeks and do more and more layouts um, that it's going to I'm going to get better at this and my videos will probably improve as well every Sunday morning I plan to take my Happy Heine to Starbucks and spend an hour or two working on planning the next week and laying that out. So I've got that in there. And I thought this one would be good for that day. She believed she could, so she did. Um, I've gotten a bunch of really cute stickers to put into my planner. Here's what it looks like when it's blank. And some of the advice that I got from the videos that I watched was don't go way ahead because especially when you're new, you don't know how you're going to want your layout to look, how you're going to want your planner to function. So don't tie yourself down to something too early on. So we'll take a look at uh, what some of the other divider pages look like. And October, I was really actually kind of disappointed at the color scheme for the October divider, but then it does fit with the overall theme of uh, of the planner, so you can bet I'm going to get some creativity going with that because I adore the Halloween and the Samhain. So you get an idea of, uh, you know, it's a little girly, um, but if you can work with that, 
uh, and put stuff over the top of it, this, this can work for you. So that's what that looks like. And I said I bought some stuff, some stickers. Uh, I got the big pack, 1,829 stickers, and the 985 because go big or go home, right? Um, and they've got all kinds of really neat things. I'm excited about using some date night stickers. Such a great day. And hey, look, Manny Petty, because you know what? That's just the kind of stuff we deserve. Um, goodness knows we're going to use the coffee stickers. And I wanted to show you guys uh, that it has some really neat stuff for just getting things done in your life. And just kind of remembering, even if you want to do some memory journaling, um, how you felt about things that went on. Uh, here's the other book that I got. And it's got, both books have some pages of stickers to just remind yourself that you are far more badass than you give yourself credit for. Uh, and that if you hang with it, you will be awesome. Some stickers about getting stuff done. And then some that I liked even better about you got this and, and you can do this. Whatever it is you got going on, you can do it. Uh, and there was one other that I got yesterday. And this is nothing but the don't give up you're awesome kind of stuff. Um, the pens that I'm going to use in my planner are Pilot G2 Fine Point whoop, whoop, learning how to do this .07 because they come in all kinds of colors, virtually every color known to man. Uh, and so that's going to allow me to get creative with that. And I've used the pens for a long time now, um, almost two years. And I really, really like them. This morning, I went to Walmart and I treated myself to a few more things. Um, we have some travel coming up this fall and winter. So I got some stickers about that. And because at this point, I cannot do hand lettering. Maybe in the future, but not at the moment. I got myself some lettering so I can put my name in that cover page and that kind of thing. And I also just dropped the washi tape that I bought myself. Um, there's all kinds of companies that make washi tape now. And they come in solids. They come in patterns. And they even come in glitter. Uh, Scotch regular washi tape tends to be more expensive than the duck washi. But I think you probably get a little more product in the Scotch. But I didn't want to go too crazy because I don't know if I'm going to use it, how I'm going to use it where I'm going to use it. Uh, so I'm trying to be pretty tight with the budget until I get a better handle on all this. So um, yeah, that looks overwhelming, but I dove in and I just put a few stickers in and already I, I can see that I'm going to like this and I can't wait to turn the page a couple times and see where it goes from here. I'll put still pictures up uh, as I continue along my journey. And who knows, maybe I'll get a bigger work surface where I can show stuff better. Thanks for your time, and thanks for going on the journey with me. I can't wait to see what you guys post.